Hello, ladies and gentlemen. You, of course, clicked on this video because of the title, or you're a longtime subscriber. But regardless, Rocco Spindler commits to Notre Dame. Absolutely huge pickup for the Irish. I mean, he's been top five on our board. Our board is in Notre Dame for almost two years. I don't know the exact date we offered him, but it's been a while. Uh, of course, he's close with Blake Fisher, Pat Coogan, uh, Joe Allett, maybe even two. I know they're all. All good friends, but regardless, huge pickup. Number 48 player on 24-7, 56 on rivals, consensus high four-star. Um, just a massive, massive pickup. So excited when I heard the news. For the longest time, it was kind of 50-50 between the Michigan Wolverines and Notre Dame. Uh, but that small school environment, uh, the business school, Rocco always talks about, I think made the difference. I think that's ultimately why Rocco Spindler picked Notre Dame over Michigan and others. His top five was Penn State, Michigan, Ohio State, Notre Dame, and LSU. Ended up picking Notre Dame. His teammate, Grant Dellinger, committed to LSU a few months ago, um, but he never actually took a visit to LSU. He took multiple visits to Michigan, I think one or two, maybe even three to Notre Dame and Ohio State. And he took one visit to Penn State. Not going to be a very long video. I'm only at a minute and a half now, but just absolutely crazy. I'm on my Notre Dame shirt here. Just big time pickup. This is probably the most excited I've been for recruiting in a long time. Of course, Will Shipley. I don't know how that went down on May 5th. He ended up choosing Clemson over Notre Dame. Um, but Phil Riley committing that day kind of eased the pain for Notre Dame fans. Uh, not many more targets left. Notre Dame's on a hot streak. Six recruits in three weeks, including the 2022 guys, Jack Nickel and Joey Tonona. Uh, will this help uh, Notre Dame and the likes of Donovan Edwards and Nolan Rucci? I don't know. I doubt it will help Nolan Rucci. I think he's pretty much set on uh, Penn State or Wisconsin. Clemson's kind of there too. Donovan Edwards, of course, he's a... He's a real target, but I don't see him going anywhere outside of Michigan. I, I see it as a Michigan State-Michigan battle. Um, going down the line, Dante Thornton, I really like him. Reminds me a hell of a lot of Clay, Chase Claypool. He's looking at Oregon, Notre Dame, uh, of course others. He's many offers. Uh, in total, 26, but kind of everyone on 24-7 rivals has him going to Oregon. Deion Colsey, Sierra Wright, two other wide receiver targets, doubt they come. Sierra Wright plays wide receiver and cornerback. Uh, Titus Mokea Tamala and Jaden Thomas, two wide receivers. Notre Dame currently only has one wide receiver commit, but I doubt it'll stand true. Jaden Thomas, bet he'll commit. Titus Mokea Tamala, I bet he'll commit too. Bring in Notre Dame to three. And that's kind of it. I mean, Jaden Slocum is also a target. The safety from Alpharetta, Georgia. Notre Dame only has one safety commit from 2020 and 2021. Uh, Justin Walters from Bolingbrook, Illinois. He is a safety committed in February. Jaden Slocum, that's kind of the only defensive target left. So I think that's going to wrap up this video. Went over the offensive and defensive targets. Offensive, of course, being uh, Dante Thornton. Jaden Thomas, Titus Bouquet, Adamala, um, and the defensive being Jaden Slocum. The video is Rocco Spindler, so I'm going to end it on a Rocco Spindler note. Extremely exciting. We win a Michigan player. Uh, I think he lives like 45 minutes from Michigan, so Michigan's backyard. I mean, just a massive get. A massive, massive, massive get. Just beating a team like Michigan that always consensually lands these Michigan four- and five-star guys is key, especially on the offensive line because Notre Dame is offensive line university. We've had Quinton Nelson, Zach Martin, Michael McGlinchey, Ronnie Stanley, a whole bunch of great NFL players, and him and Blake Fisher hopefully will be the next. I mean, let's keep this train moving. 2022, we currently only have one offensive line commit, uh, and that is Joey Tenona. I'm going to end it on that. Thank you guys for watching a short five-minute video, but all the time I need to express my excitement on this Rutgers Spindler commitment. 
Big time, big time get. And it definitely made my day a lot better. Peace. Go Irish.